Well, what do I want to do in this lesson? I want to make a SharePoint for network access. Then I want to connect to that share using a TCP IP address. Then I want to list out the files that are contained therein. And that will be the end of the lesson. So first, let's make a SharePoint for network access. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I have a folder on my H drive. And the folder's name is TSTY, testy. And I've got three files contained in it. I'm going to right-click on that folder. I'm going to go down to where it says Sharing and Security. And here in the middle of the page, well, click on the Sharing tab. And then right over here, to share this, I have to click on Share the Folder on the Network. By default, the share name will be Testy. So Testy will refer to h colon backslash Testy. Hmm. OK. I'm going to click on Apply. And OK. Now this is open for sharing. I can see what's on here. I've got three files. Let's see if I can access that with our system. So once again, what is our goal? Make a SharePoint for the for network access. We just did that. Next, I want to connect to that share using a TCP IP address. That's what we're going to do now. In order to do that, I have to import OS. All right. The next thing I do is I say X is equal to OS dot list. DIR open parens and now I'm going to give the TCP IP address of myself. Oh, I don't, I could use that reflexive one. Uh, uh 127.0.0.1 that everybody's computer is that number to itself. Huh. Okay. Here we go. Backslash backslash. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to have to prefix every one of those two backslashes because this is a IP address with an escape character, each one of those. So this one gets a backslash, and the other one gets a backslash. Okay, those are four backslashes. And now I key in 127.0.0.1. That's my computer. Now, I want to access the SharePoint called Testy. So I have to put a backslash. Oh, I have to put the escape character before that. There we go. And the name of the SharePoint is Testy. And I have to enclose it within single quotes. Oh, I didn't do that up here. I'm so fired. And now it turns green. Close parens. Now I hit enter. Oh, syntax error. What did I do that was wrong? Uh, let's see. While scanning the string literal, it found an error. What was the error? X equals OS dot list DIR one, two, three, four. Is that four? Well, let's make that bigger. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, T. E S T Y. Oh, there's the error. See, I have right over here. That's a double quote. It should be a single quote to match the other single quote. That's the error. Okay, let's get rid of that double quote. Put in a single quote. I have a single quote here. Then I have to have a matching single quote there. They can't be different. Good. Now I hit enter, and it's done. What is in X? In X, and I hit enter. And there are my files. Let's check them to make sure that they are correct. One, big test on TXT. That's my guy there. Two, file two on testy PPTX. 
2. File 2 on testy pptx. 3. Test on testy.txt. 3. Test on texty.txt. Those are colorful names, aren't they? Oh, wow, that's great. That is wonderful. Let's print them out in a much more, in a neater fashion. Uh, how would I do that? For every i in x, print uh, i. Yes. Now remember, x is this guy here, the directory listing that was assigned to x in the previous statement. Okay? Hit enter. One, two, oh, there we go. A nice listing out of all my files in that directory. Wow. So, we connected to that share using a TCP IP address, and then we listed out the files contained therein. We did it in two ways. First, we just keyed in the letter X, and it printed it out, looking a little bit nasty sloppy. And then we used a for loop to print them out, making them look needy needy. Very nice and neat. Nice and needy. That's a better way to say that. And now we've come to the end. Because that's all I've got to say for now. This is George Wolf saying bye-bye.